Hi folks, um, in a previous video uh, I explained how to use the where exist function or where exists. Um, if we press control and E we have a transaction table and we have a product table and in video 167 of all the videos I've done we explained where exists. Now we can also create a temporary table. Um, so for example this will only work where the fact table or the main transaction table obviously this is used for demonstration purposes we're using the where exists so we're only going to take in the product uh, dimension where it exists in the transaction table but it does depend on the transaction table being loaded first so if we didn't want if we were going to load say all our dimensions first and then a transaction table the where exists uh, it wouldn't help us so one way of doing this is actually just show that it works. We're gonna cut the products table. We're gonna load that first, and we're gonna reload. And we should this should turn into thirty thousand uh, products, like the previous uh, video suggested. And we're gonna go back into the script, and to avoid having to load the transaction table first, or to avoid how we where it loads within the script we can create a uh, temporary table so we're going to do that now so we're going to say temp product we're going to say write keep product which is uh, from the product table and we're going to say load distinct product resident transaction so now what will happen is if we reload the script we should create a new temporary table uh, based on the products that were in the transaction table so we press control and R to reload we can see now we've only got 934 uh, products which is fine press control and T to look at the table viewer we now have a temporary product table we have the original product table and we have our transaction table and they all contain a subset ratio of 100% in other words we don't have thousands of products within the dimension tables that are not in the transaction table or the fact table so if we click OK press uh, control and E we now no longer need the temporary product table and we can use the drop table syntax say drop table temp underscore product semicolon and now press control and R to reload press control and T to see the tables you can see now we've just got our two tables our product table which is our dimension table and our transaction table which is our fact table so we click OK again press control and E to go into the script we can press control and X and we can put these tables in any order we want press control and R and as you can see we still have the same amount of products and the table viewer is still saying the same thing so unlike the where it exists um, in the previous video where you had to load the fact table before the dimension table if you didn't want to do that the alternative is load them in any order that you want and then create a temporary table using right keep in some instances left keep will, will work but for this dem demonstration we're going to use right keep product we're going to load the distinct product um, from the transaction table and then we're going to drop that table and it gives us the desired result and that's basically what it's doing is, is it's uh, helping us to limit uh, the number of dimensions compared to the facts so in other words we might have a dimensions table with products that contains 30,000 products but only a thousand of those products are in the main uh, it could be an order detail table or order line table or transactions table um, 
we don't want those 30,000 because we only want the 1,000 that are within the transaction table that we have. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you've got any more questions, post them because I'm still learning this stuff myself. I hope that helps. And I'll see you next video. Cheers.